All right, James, I have your quad finished up. This is the Maximus FPV bite size. It's a little two inch stretch decks. Uh, I've done a bunch of them on my channel. Uh, and I pretty much used all the same parts as the other ones. We got the Airblade 1103 10,000kV motors. We got the uh, Teeny F4 stack. Uh, the camera that I don't know the name of. <laughs> I actually left the uh, circular polarized on it on this one just because, you know, these are much better than a dipole. And the main reason to use a dipole on something like this is, you know, to keep from breaking the antenna. But Maximus does such an awesome job designing these that uh, he actually designed the uh, antenna mounts into the camera mount. So now you're able to uh, stick some antenna tubes on here and that's going to protect the antenna. So if you crash, as you can see there, you know. It's just gonna hit the antenna tubes and it's so light it's not like it's gonna bend I mean if it was like a horrible horrible crash it might actually get to it but yeah it's not gonna be even half as easy as it would normally be to break an antenna like this so and then there's an the XM receiver and I did flash it for RSSI so um, that's all set up in the OSD uh, the bind button is right here it's kind of under the camera a little bit but if you got tweezers or a little screwdriver or something like that uh, it's very easy to get to the button oops I'm clicking it right now it's right there just inside the just under the camera mount right there you'll be able to see it when you got it in person um, it was very easy for me to bind it's already bound up to my radio if you do need to plug into Betaflight, um, I would suggest getting one of those angled uh, micro USBs. They come in really handy. I, I have a I have a couple of them, and I use them a lot, especially on little builds like this. You shouldn't have to use an angled one. Um, I actually, when I just plugged it into the computer, I didn't. I used a straight one, and it went in just fine. Um, just go in from right here and just plug it right in. But. Uh, it's just a lot easier with one of those angled ones because the stack is at an angle, you know, so. Uh, I think that's about it. We got the Hulky 2040 props. It's so crazy how close they get to each other side to side. Um, yeah, so I'll show you the video. Bind it in D16 mode because it's the XM. Um, I'll show you the video, do a little hover, and get this shipped out to you. So. There's the video. Looks good. You only have a tiny bit of props across the bottom. I, re I really like it like that because it's not... It's just at the bottom and you know that way you can see your motor spinning. I don't know why but I like it like that. So yeah, it looks good. And here we go. I love these things. Whoa, ho, ho. Yeah. They're just so fun to fly. You can take them anywhere. 
literally anywhere. They're they're about the same size as a tiny whoop, pretty much. And they have tons of power, you know, so they're still fun. And they're quiet, so they're not going to bother anybody, you know. They're I just love them, man. They're just awesome. This thing's fast, too. So, there you go. Hope you enjoy it. I'll uh, get it boxed up, and I'll send you over some tracking. All right, thanks, James.